Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing the topic called as asynchronous module definition. Let's understand what do we mean by that. It is a mechanism for defining modules such that the modules and this dependency can be loaded asynchronously. Here modules plays a major role. So why do we want this asynchronous module definition? Let's understand. Developers use these script tags. Here there are two major issues. One is that each script tag has its own variables that are loaded to the global namespace. Thereby the global namespace is polluted. The second issue is that dependency order is important. Here backbone.js is dependent on underscore.js. If we change the order, the scripts might break. So the order of the script tags is important. The development gets more and more complex. Dependency management can be complex. So how we will be handling this? One approach is that instead of this global scope, the scopes are localized to the module such that the global scope is not polluted. CommonJS came with an approach for the module format. The CommonJS modules were designed with a server mindset as all the files and the required resources are there in the server. When it comes to browser, we need asynchronous module definition. Let's understand how we can implement that. It has a defined function which has three parameters, module ID, dependency and factory function. Let's understand these. Module ID is simply a folder path or a path. Dependency is an array of dependency that are required for a particular module. In this case, jQuery and D3 are given as an example. Factory function is a function that returns an object. In this example, we have used an asynchronous function that returns an object. Let's see how we can implement asynchronous module definition. So it starts with define function or module dependencies and a factory function. Here the dependencies and the parameters are mapped together. The dependencies returns an object that is stored as a parameter. Here we can have whatever parameter as D3 returns an object that object is stored in whatever. In this function we have an object which as a function do stuff. Now it's time to return the module. So this is a basic example of asynchronous module definition. Hope you got a clear understanding. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you like the video, please like the video, comment the video and share the video. See you until next time. Thank you.